Welcome to part two of our two-part episode where we're having a look at the Winery and Viticulture Technician Program at Niagara College. Today, we're talking with the college's head winemaker and professor of enology to find out what makes a good winemaker. But as you know, it takes more than the winemaker to make great wine. You also need quality fruit. So we're going to talk with Dr. Wendy McFadden-Smith and find out what the students are learning in the vineyard. Welcome to another episode of On Wine TV the show that brings you the inside scoop on what's happening in the Ontario wine industry. So we're here talking with the head winemaker and professor of enology, Terence Van Rooyen. Terence, thank you very much for talking with us today. I'm glad to be here. Thank you very much. So Terence, first question, what makes a good winemaker? Basically, what you're looking for is creativity, uh, knowledge, and passion, uh, great work ethic, and a love of wine and food. How much of it do you think is science-based for the students and how much of it is just that natural passion or knowledge of wine that you talked about or maybe that their sense of taste? I love this question because uh, many people say, oh, winemaking is an art. And I say, no, that's only a very small part of it, although a, a critical element of making good wine. Because winemaking, and you use the term enology, is the science of wine is based on biochemistry, chemistry and microbiology, all combined and applied to the making of wine. And that's a whole load of chemistry in there. So we need that knowledge to know what's happening and what we can do when something goes wrong. And that's a very important element of making wine, is prevention of wines going in a different direction than you planning. I approach this as a knowledge-based course with the application coming afterwards as opposed to the opposite where you start doing things first and then learn how, how, you know, what you've actually done and what is the chemistry behind that. Because compared to a course in medicine, you have to know, you learn a whole new language, you have to know what you're dealing with before you can actually make diagnosis and treat people or patients or tanks of wine. So Terence, how important and how beneficial is it to have a full-scale production winery at their disposal for the students that they get to utilize as part of their classroom? I think it's a very integral part of their training. Uh, we can at best give them first-hand practical experience of making their own wines, but because we have 35 students, it has to be on a small scale. So we are doing that but they need to see the operations on a larger scale. Now we have a winery here that produces about 5,000 cases. It's considered a, a fairly sizable small winery and we have all the actions that any bigger winery has to apply to make wines. We have here as well but our main approach is we have to make the best possible wine we can because how else would we in, instill in the students that tender, loving care it takes to make award-winning wines. And so it's, it's an imperative and part of, my, of winemaking is to make the best possible wines we can. So we're out in the vineyard with Dr. Wendy McFadden-Smith, one of the instructors here in the Winery and Viticulture Technician Program. So Wendy, what's your background and what's your involvement in the program? I'm a plant pathologist, that means a plant doctor basically. My, my real job is with the Ontario Ministry of Agriculture. I'm the tender fruit and grape IPM specialist. So my responsibility is to help uh, tree fruit and grape growers with managing insect and disease problems. So Wendy, how important and how beneficial is it to have your own vineyards on site here as part of the college that the students get to utilize? It's absolutely key because you can't learn viticulture from a textbook. It's really important to have that hands-on experience, to have the different varieties, different training systems. Uh, even within this site there are different ecological niches so that in a low spot there'll be different problems than in a high spot. Uh, the different varieties because there's so much varietal, 
variability in susceptibility. For example, in the Baco just now, we found some, uh, some Fomopsis and some Phylloxera because they're more prone to it. And in the back, we're using some of the larger vineyards, uh, partly to provide a scouting service to the managers of, of the vineyard. So absolutely critical that they have access to this. So a lot of the students coming into this program have their goals and dreams. A lot of them want to be winemakers. Do you find that, is there a lot of students coming in who want to be viticulturalists or grape growers? And how are they taking to the viticulture aspect of the program? Uh, I would say maybe 10% of the students want to be involved in viticulture when they first come in. Uh, Winemaking is much more romantic. I think it's much easier. Uh, <laughs> viticulture requires a lot more physical work. I've never worked in a winery, so I don't know for sure. I've only drunk the product. Um, <laughs> but uh, I think that even if you are a winemaker, it's a very important to understand what's going on in the vineyard. And the most successful winemakers are the ones that will either be in the vineyard or have good communication, understand the challenges that are happening, understand uh, if pesticides are used, the re-entry periods, the pre-harvest intervals, anything that's going to have an impact on their, their wine. You can make good wine with good grapes, you can't make good wine with bad grapes. Yeah, so we're out in the vineyard with some of the students here and I've got Ryan and he's just showing me uh, some of the leaves and what we're looking for. So Ryan, what are you and classmates doing in the vineyard today? Um, basically, we've all been assigned uh, a couple of rows in the vineyard and uh, what we do is every week we'll come out and we scout the, the vineyard section that we've been assigned and we're looking for any signs of, uh, of disease or insect pests. Uh, any just unusual conditions in the vineyard that would be of interest to a vineyard manager or um, winemaker. You'll be done your program in the next few months here, so uh, what do you hope to do? Do you want to be in the winery aspect making the wine or do you want to be out in the vineyard or do a little bit of both? Um, ideally I'd love to be involved in both. I think that if you're going to make really good wine, I think you have to be involved in what's going on in the vineyard. and. Um, it's for me I'm really fascinated by both aspects I don't think I'd be satisfied to just be in the vineyard I don't think I'd be satisfied to just be in the cellar so hopefully down the road I can find myself in a position where I get to um, you know dabble in in both uh, areas beauty and grasshopper you've learned well <laughs>